Alrighty. Uh, like I said, you guys are reading the questions on your own. I my voice hurts. I'm tired. Um, read the question. Anyway, we get this wonderful little formula here. Let me pull it up. This is from last unit, so hopefully you remembered, but understandable if you didn't. We get uh, this old uh, period of an oscillating spring is equal to, uh, I'm writing right under me, I'm just copying that formula, 2 pi over the square root of m over k. Okay? So, what does that matter? Well, velocity is equal to distance over time way back from middle school. Velocity is equal to our distance. They give us that. They just give us that. 0 0.66 meters over our time is our period of oscillation. Okay? So we just find this period. What are you talking about, Siri? I'm sorry, I'm just listening to music. S Siri, stop, stop, stop. I think it's gone. I don't know what I said to trigger Siri. I did it again. I did it. Did it again. Uh, two pi times the square root. Our mass is twenty-seven. Oh my gosh, that's a two kilograms over our k is one point four e to the five in the calculator. I just can't be bothered. Period is equal to. Yeah, this is literally just remembering the formula from last chapter. That's all it is. One point four e five. You get a period of zero point zero eight seven two. Uh, v is equal to zero point. This is my distance in the tub. Over zero point zero eight seven two. Velocity is equal to. I got seven. Oh, why are you like this? Seven, five, six, seven point five six. So, a uh, bit of a short and easy one. 